Hello everyone and thanks for joining me on day one of my 2017 Halloween card series. I'm not exactly sure how many cards I'll be doing this year but I hope to get a few in anyway. So I am using the La La Land Crafts Setting Cat Marcy image and one of the sentiments that came with the image and I am using my stamp tool to stamp this image out on some watercolor paper and I am using VersaFine Black Onyx ink that is my favorite ink to work with when watercoloring and usually when I stamp stuff on watercolor paper I have to stamp it multiple times to get a good clear crisp image but this time I got lucky and was able to get a nice image on the first try so, <clears throat> excuse me, for the majority of the image, I'll be using my Magello Mission Gold watercolors, but for her face and neck, I did use some tattered lace distress ink because there isn't really a shade in my Magello set that I like to use for um, skin tones. And I did add some really light blush to her cheeks, but I do go back later off camera and add some really, really dark pink blush to match the inside of the cat ears, what I end up painting the cat ears. And I figure this is a Halloween card. You can get away with wearing some crazy makeup on Halloween. I did try to do just a little bit of shading. Um, and I'm still needing lots of practice, but what I did is I just used a lot of color pigment in the spots where I wanted the shadows. And then I just took a wet brush and um, kind of pulled that color out. It worked okay with her hair, but um, I was having a harder time getting that to work with the black, the color that I wanted to color her cat costume. But anyway, I ended up just going with it. So she's... I, I had intended her to be a black cat, but she turned out to be kind of a dark gray one but that's okay she still turns out super cute of course when you have an image this cute it's hard to not make it cute so for the parts um, of her ears again I did where I at put a lot of pigment in the places I wanted the shadows and then I just took a wet brush and pulled that out and I'm going to have to work on painting and holding my brush where you can actually see what I'm painting because I noticed that my hand is getting in the way a lot and it's hard to see what I'm actually doing but anyway I was very very careful with her nose her nose and her lips made me nervous because I knew I could very easily ruin the whole thing if I wasn't careful so for the parts of her outfit that were kind of a lighter color um, from the picture on the package um, I don't have a gray so I just mixed some black and white together and made a light gray and then I did pink on the inside of her ears and the bottom of her foot and then red for her lips and there you can see where I go back and added um, that dark pink on her cheeks I just felt like that was more festive so I have some pattern paper that I picked up from Tuesday morning and I'm just going to mount that to a piece of black cardstock and when I have a piece of cardstock um, that not much of it's going to be showing I usually die cut the middle um, which you may have noticed just so that it gets me 
it goes a little bit further and I don't feel like I'm wasting so much paper that it's not going to be seen you're not going to notice it and I have this spiderweb ribbon that I have had for years um, I, there was a ton of it on the roll when I bought it and it's just been sitting in a Ziploc bag on my shelf so I decided to try to use some of it this year and I was going to try to do a bow and I fiddled with it for a while trying to make a bow I like but that spider web is actually glitter and it just made the ribbon really really stiff and it was not cooperating with me so I ended up just tying it in a knot and trimming the um, edges off and just leaving it like that because I was getting frustrated with it and I used my ATG gun to adhere the back panel. I usually like using liquid ad adhesive because it gives me a little bit of wiggle room if I don't get things exactly centered up. But since I had scotch tape on the back to hold the ribbon down, um, I knew I needed to use some double-sided tape to help hold that down. And this is just a scrap piece of green cardstock and some more of that pattern paper I picked up from Tuesday morning. And those were die cut using a CC Design Scalloped Oval Die. And I just kind of put the green piece behind the pattern piece to bring out some of the greens. And I'm going to take the little kitty cat Marcy here and I'm going to pop her up on or with some foam, ta foam tape and then I'm going to put her over the ribbon so that it looks like she's kind of sitting on the ribbon as if the ribbon's a ledge and she's just kind of hanging there chilling and I have this speech bubble I die cut from the Sweet Step Shop Speech Bubble Dies and the Hugs and Hisses sentiment was from the Marcy stamp set and then these are just some Dollar Tree stickers I picked up last year I think and I ended up going with silver to kind of tie in the silver cobwebs in the ribbon and then the very last thing I did was I added some glossy accents to her nose to make it look like she had a little wet kitty cat nose so that is my card thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to y'all later bye